In this video, I'm going to be showing you the best settings in Madden 23. Just wanted to do a November update. I um, wanted to do these every you know little couple months. Just talk about the meta a little bit and just give you a quick uh, settings rundown, best abilities, best settings right now in Ultimate Team. And also in regs, um, a lot of this stuff applies, cross applies to different uh, formation. So first and foremost, I want to talk about the best settings you can have in Madden 23. You'll see here, if I go over here to game options, it's best to do this in Ultimate Team if you're a Mutt player. If you're in regs, you can do that at the main menu, which I'll show you how to do that at the end of the video. But you'll see right here, I want to come in here to my game options menu. Most important thing that I could give you, most important piece of advice I could give you is your coin toss first choice. You want to make sure that this is on kick. This really puts you in a good position to be able to control uh, the game. You want to make sure that your first choice is on kick. My second choice here is against the wind. This one, you can kind of do whatever. I'm not honestly sure. I th the reason I say against the wind is because that way, you know, if we are, if wind is actually a factor in the fourth quarter, I'll have the wind uh, with me or in the second half, I'll have the wind with me, if you will. So that's the idea with that. Um, and then the next thing here is a couple things. Um, if you come down here to skill based passing, um, I did not invent the wheel on this. I actually just listen to people on this. I'm not an expert by any means at this, but this is my opinion. Uh, I've, this is what I've been using for the last at least two months. Uh, passing type, placement and accuracy. Passing slowdown off. You can't even use that in online play anyway. Freeform reticle max distance. I'm on near. Freeform reticle speed 20 out of 20. Okay, this is going to allow you to essentially um, throw the ball the reason I like near is because if I overthrow it, which I still do have bad freeforms and overthrows and all that stuff, but this definitely limits that. So I can still pass lead like a quarter route open, and he's going to throw it to a place where only the receiver can catch it. So the way you activate that in game is you're going to hold left trigger, and you're going to pass lead it with the left joystick. So that's been my best experience so far. I've tried a lot of different settings. This one has been, in my opinion, the most consistent. Um, now, this is something interesting. Um, I've actually re wrestling with putting these two things on hidden, um, and I'm going to leave them on like that, because I think that when you actually look at the meter, it actually can mess you up. So it's kind of like 2K, where the shot meter being off, I actually think is helpful uh, for some people. So I'm going to mess around with hidden, I'll get back to you, but if you want to leave it on visible, that's fine. I don't really look at this as much, because again, you're in the flow of a game, you're just trying to make it happen quick. You don't have time to just look at the reticle or whatever, in my opinion. So anyway, that's my opinion on that. Uh, this right here, auto flip, I'm going to put this on, ball hawk is going to be on, heat seeker assist is going to be on, um, I've been kind of wrestling with actually turning this off, but for right now we're going to leave this on, defensive switch assist is going to be off, okay, um, and those are my key uh, gameplay settings that I recommend, and then real quick I just want to go over some of the best abilities in the game right now, um, so on the offensive side of the ball, the best ability in my opinion um, and I have it on, I think, three out of my four players is short in elite. And there's a lot of players that get short in elite for one AP. Uh, to me, this is the most, uh, second most important ability in the game um, because it's going to help you get separation against man-to-man -man coverage. Zone coverage is not that difficult to beat this year. Man coverage can be very sticky. We want to be able to beat man coverage. So by putting short and elite on everybody, it's going to significantly help. Now, I have Jamar Chase with short out elite. That's because I run a lot of trips tied in. If the guy is going to consistently be lined up outside of the numbers, short out elite would be what you want to do. But he gets short out for 1 AP. Uh, Hyde's Ward, I think, is a great utility player because he gets short in and short out for 1 AP. Um, he gets either one of those. So he's just kind of a must-have on your roster, in my opinion. Uh, and then John Elway. Now, I know not everybody can afford John Elway, which I completely understand that. But the main abilities that I want to talk about, obviously, set feet lead is really, really, really important in this game. Um, is You need to have a throwing velocity ability, especially with the way that where we're at right now in Ultimate Team, with how good the zones can break if you don't have a throwing velocity ability. This is just going to help you really get hit those routes that you... Um, that are open but then this is by far the most important ability in the game and it's fearless you need to have this equipped on your quarterback it completely changes the game in my opinion um, you got to have fearless if you're going to be wanting to because if you don't you're just going to get under pressure and accurate all game you need to have fearless and then a close like third most important or right like short end is really important fearless is really important and then the last thing that is really important in my opinion are these two uh, tackles 
with Edge Protector. There's a lot of players right now that can get Edge Protector for 1 AP. Please put Edge Protectors on your offense. You're going to notice a massive improvement when you're going up against this right here on defense, double or nothing in Edge Threat stacks. Um, this right now currently is by far the best stacking of pass rush abilities. I think Deuce Close was actually one of the ones that really kind of brought this to the forefront of the community. You want to be running edge threat and double or nothing if you want to run a pass rush ability. However, in my opinion, um, I actually think that pass rushing abilities are starting to become obsolete because a lot of people um, are running those 1 AP edge protectors. But you see here, Aaron Donald, you can, there's a lot of players right now that get discounts on, on at least double or nothing. So I'd really encourage you to consider stacking those abilities. But really the most important ability on defense, and it's really not even close, is Pick Artist. And the reason Pick Artist is so important is because it's going to help you catch tipped interceptions, and it's going to help you counter. It's the one ability in the game that will allow you to actually intercept. Um, not even necessarily aggressive catches, even though it does help a little bit with that. But the main thing is it helps you catch tipped interceptions. Which if you you know catch tackle a guy on an ag and you have a second defender in the area, you're gonna have a chance to intercept that. So pick artist to me is very important. Um, I will say like a short or like a close second ability that I think is really important on defense is any, any a KO. If you're running more zone KO, then deep out zone KO is really good. Um, if you're running more of a man scheme then medium route KO or deep route KO are, are very effective as well. So the KO abilities is really what you want to look for here uh, with this. One little uh, thing that I think is really kind of a quick piece of advice for those of you that are running four down lineman sets, like nickel over, big nickel over G, dime, all that, you can actually put Derek Brooks at defensive tackle via packages and have him with zero AP lurker. I'm kind of messing around with that. But what this allows you to do, though, is it allows you to drop him into coverage. For example, one of the things I like to do is man him up on the running back or drop him into a vertical hook zone over the middle or a three-rec hook zone over the middle, um, and you'll get a lot of interceptions with that. He is now a viable coverage option for you. And again, it's zero AP lurker, so it doesn't cost you anything ability point-wise uh, to be able to do that. Uh, and then lastly, not least, special teams. I think someone really, these are kind of honestly broken, but, I mean, clutch kickers and kicker are the best. And then Devin Hester is really good as well. I don't have him on my team, uh, but he is really good. This Cooper Cup right here I think is a must-have on every single team for two reasons. Number one, he gets short and elite for zero AP, and then he gets slot apprentice for one AP. So you can have a slot apprentice and a short and elite for literally one AP right now. So those are my recommended abilities. And then last thing I said I was going to do was I was going to tell you how in the beginning uh, to set this up if you're a regs player, let's say you don't play mutt, um, but you want to set your settings up. What you want to do is you want to come out here to the main menu and you just want to come over to the settings bar. You're going to click on that and you're going to click on game options. And as you see, it's going to, um, you know, kind of bring this little menu up right here where you can change all of these settings. Okay, so those are the best settings. Little meta update for November. Thanks for watching, guys. If you want to get all my ebooks, I have an ebook library as of today with 16 different offensive and defensive ebooks, and we have a brand new one coming out early next week, probably on Monday. Please make sure you're in the Patreon if you haven't already. It's the best way to support me as a creator, but I think it's also the best way to take your game to the next level because ebooks really give you the nuts and bolts of how to be effective on offense, how to be effective on defense. So if you want to sign up for that, head down to the description down below. Like I said, ten dollars will get you access to everything in the Patreon, all the ebooks, all the updates to the ebooks, and any new ebooks that we release as soon as they are released. So if you want to sign up, head down to the description below and click the link down below.